lethal reward though. Yeah. That's the thing, because if he turns around, I mean well, you maybe spot dodge grab. He would have to spot dodge the grab would cross up. Then you'd have to be able to get in a turnaround grab. Maybe yes, maybe no. You know? As Jigglypuff, it's kind of tough. Yeah, it's, it's the slowest eh, running exactly. speed in the game. So, yeah. I don't know. But just grabbing him out of the dash, that would have been that it. That would have been... That would have been sick. That would have been awesome. All right, so Blood Cross versus ADHD is the match we have upon us. Okay, so I think this is winner's quarters or semis or something. Just winner's bracket something. But uh, Blood Cross is one of the top New England threats. He must be pretty close to rank first there, if not actually rank first. He's, yeah. He travels way more than anyone else from their region. I haven't seen anything from Fatal in a long time. Shout out to Matthew. Missed that guy. Oh. ADHD, uh, pretty solid start so far. Definitely uh, needs to capitalize on that damage differential pretty much. Takes the time to set up his wall. Uh, it's very standard ADHD procedure by now. I'm sure, like, you guys who have been following him you know, for a while, have gotten used to the pull two bananas, uh, hold one, stand behind one, and shoot peanuts. And the tried and true formula still still pretty much applies. Yeah. I really like the new technology ADG has come out with. Um, this is something that I can say even I haven't seen these new detailed follow-ups, okay? Detailed pressure is something that yes. has been discussed before, but these detailed follow-ups, you know, banana toss to detail if you think the opponent's going to block just because it's going to be really safe. It's going to beat Meta Knight tilts out. Uh, it solidly just destroys down tilt in terms of range and damage if they trade. Yeah, and also the uh, the knockback that it has is so yeah. convenient because even if you trade with Meta Knight's down tilt, it still sets you up to catch him when he comes back down or like you know, read that he's going to jump up as fair. Oh, Blood Cross with some good corner space management, but doesn't really get to do anything. You can tell he absolutely didn't want to grab that peanut, and ADHD yep. knew it. He was like, oh, yes, your sword moveset has been disabled, and he just went in for the kill. Yeah, Blood definitely. Cross had no way of getting rid of that peanut in a convenient way. Definitely one of the most disruptive things about Diddy is his ability to take away your entire normal moveset. Yeah, and give you an item that he can use against you. Yeah, especially a terrible one like Peanuts. Okay. And then ADHD casually self-destructing. Uh, uh, not even bothering to start charging the barrels. So custom. Oh, thought he was going to get something off that trip, but he did not react I guess he just, I don't think he expected Blood Cross to really just stay in that area. Right. I thought he anticipated an up B and he wanted to get a cross up, I believe is the situation there. I like Blood Cross's you know, state of mind not to throw the banana up but just to drop it casually so that ADHD did not have access to putting it back down on top of him so that he could safely just jump up to the ledge as opposed to doing anything fancy. Oh, speaking of fancy, <laughs> that little wall jump into uh, into monkey kick. I was, And then right before he landed, you know, threw out another aerial. Very crafty by ADHD. Yes, he has a very solid knowledge of his character's frame data. And he's able to get in all those last minute hitboxes. Nice yeah, pressure there. Exactly. Putting Bloodcross all the way to the edge. And nice answer by Bloodcross with the runoff up there. Yeah, Blood Cross, uh, really bring this back. Oh, oh man, that God. terrible DI. ADHD is just playing against himself right now. And Blood Cross is cracking up. I like to see Blood Cross in this good mood. Excuse me, in this good mood. I always said he's definitely one of the most powerful players out there as long as he retains his composure. And right now he's playing pretty solidly. You can see he's going... Pr oh. This is as even as he gets with ADHD. And I think he has the potential to take the set. As long as he oh, man. It. He definitely took the game. That wall jump was incredibly risky. That last stock was incredibly furious. He just did not let up at all in the last 25 seconds of that I don't match. know why he would ever go for the move that just lets him get gimped. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why he stood on the edge yeah, longer so than his invincibility. <laughs> exactly. Always been something I discourage, and he'll pay for it. Now Blood Cross is up a game. Meta Knight versus Diddy Kong. Can ADHD clutch it out? He is definitely oh. capable of doing so, but let's see what he has. I like the patience by Blood Cross. Yeah, definitely. Just really looking for uh, for ADH to just start getting his wall set up, like, and capitalizing on his attempt to do so. You know, he's got to jump up or like leave himself vulnerable in some regard in order to pull his bananas. That was really smooth. He forced him to catch a banana. I like he the fully anticipated hole. Blood Cross catching the banana. That was the best part about it. He just respected him. He said, okay, you're going to catch this banana, but I will catch your landing. Nice. The animation canceled the startup yep. up down there into a jab. That's very, very a crafty. Nice visual mind game. <laughs> very crafty. ADHD. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Blood Cross had the, the opportunity of a lifetime for that up B, though. 
he had the air dodge red and everything. He just didn't capitalize. Oh, some nice glide toss action from uh, from Blood Cross though. That one banana still belongs to ADHD. Oh, it cost him dearly. ADHD controls no bananas at the moment, but he gets a grab. That'll give him two. Oh, oh that wrong the throw. Yeah, exactly. That was actually a punishable down air into the ground. And again, we have as close as it gets here. ADHD with the stage control, Blood Cross with a slight amount of percent pressure. Excuse me, percent advantage. Oh, so bold. He just did the empty full jump, crossed him up, and grabbed him from behind. Very, very wise. One of the few options that's really, you know, sound against uh, Diddy in shield holding a banana. It's a little bit risky because he can anticipate the cross up, glide toss the right, banana down, down and punish and backward, you. Right, yeah. But ADHD's reaction time was about four frames too late there. You, you could even hear the startup of the banana toss, but it had not finished executing. And also, that cross up was extremely ambiguous. I thought he was in front of him. Yeah, all of a sudden, it was very good. Very yeah. well played. Nice grab by Blood Cross. Oh, very good patience waiting out the rest of the spot dodge and clips him uh, out of fair with the tornado. Wow, had he? G I thought he was going to convert that into an up tilt. Oh, okay. I was thinking he was going to grab him, but there's a reason that Blood ADHD Cross is the one winning. And yeah, not me. ADHD. <laughs> ADHD is relying a lot on his uh, on his spot dodge right now. Oh, I guess Blood Cross wanted to give ADHD's DI a run for his money, but that will put ADHD back into the lead of this set. Smart Blood, Cross. Blood Cross jumping out of the obvious strength. Oh, ADHD has no jump here. Recovers onto oh. stage. Sloppy by Blood Cross. He got the the full jump from the ledge instead of drop off second jump. And then equally sloppy by ADHD. He did he performed an up tilt when he meant an up smash. Up smash his hitbox has a solid range behind the Diddy Kong. Both bananas and ADHD's control. This is big. If he's gonna make the comeback, now is the time. And he's got stage control. Oh, wow. Uh, another risk of um, of delaying get-ups by ADHD. He lost the invincibility on that get-up attack, which just allowed him to, uh, to be put in the situation right now, pretty much. That's it. Blood Cross so dominant right now. One stock away from two owing ADHD. Yeah. Completely unprecedented. He had a little help from the peanut gallery, no pun intended. You definitely intended that pun. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Pun completely intended. <laughs> Blood Cross was able to get that banana grab in there, nerfing ADHD's follow up. And this is the worst position for Blood Cross. Like, ADHD's got his wall, he's stuck on the edge. I don't very, know. Very smart I would say being race. up a stock is not the worst position you can be in. Oh, I, I mean, no, purely, I understand yeah, yeah, I understand. right. Purely spatial. Uh-oh, oh. very inconvenient trip causes Blood Cross to stock. But let's now hope he can dead. keep his head in the right place and not lose too much momentum over it. Wow, very good use of his invincibility, just making the banana basically null and void. Oh! That was really clever, I like that. Pick. ADHD will get some punishment here. Doesn't manage to convert anything real out of it. Wow, Blood Cross is underneath him. He missed the up air, which was very, very fortunate for ADHD, but he still has managed to get some offensive momentum. Oh, man. I love the cross up glide, but uh, I'm very lucky for ADHD. The banana actually tripped Blood Cross when he turned around to do the, uh, to like in the middle of his back throw animation, Meta Knight moves himself forward. So, uh, very, very crazy chain of events so far. Blood Cross trying to keep the offensive momentum up, so he's resorting to a bunch of tornadoes. That DI was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it absolutely was. Now, Blood Cross has had very few, uh, like, blips in his radar as far as, like, applying the offensive pressure, but every time he loses even just, like, the slightest split second... Wow! Like, oh, man! Oh! oh my god, ADHD with ADHD. a rare combo drop. That, yeah. But I have to say, despite the combo drop, that was some really impressive peanut play. Did you see the way he he read Blood Cross's ground retreat by doing a jumping peanut to force him closer? You know, he, he saw Blood Cross moving back, and so he jumped and fired a peanut even before Blood Cross did it. That's spot dodge. Pressure the edge. Wow, the foot of, of Diddy's side B. Honestly, just like, oh, the occasional get out of jail free that it offers you is so valuable. Because just that extra little hitbox extension. Wow, three trips in a row! Down smash? Oh, yep. That won't kill him, and that won't kill him. No, it will but not, he has no but jump. he is poised to uh, to take this home right now. Oh no, Blood Cross! 
went for an option so he could try to pick up the banana, but that won't. This could be dangerous. Oh, the back oh, roll. The back hit. 8 HD, excellent DI here. No jump. Or no, he has a jump. Oh. And that's it. No, nah, there it goes. Wow. Blood Cross takes it 2 0. Very, cross. very wow. impressive performance. The well round done. of applause well goes done. out. Well done to Blood Cross. Knocking 8 HD into that loser's bracket. Wow. Yeah, see, game one was a little suspect, but then game two, he really, like. Very solid. Yeah, very, very solid. Well done by both players. It looks like Mewtwo King.